Hey you guys, my name is Heather Sidden and have you been wondering how to become a leader? Um, so I've got you six steps on how to become a leader. So um, I'm in my car, so let me kind of get a little bit more comfortable. So the first step is to give value. Consistently give tips and touch on basic strategies. It could be, you know, anything that you think your audience would love to learn about. Um, you know, it your audience, but definitely give value, whether it's in Facebook Live video or even on your post. Tip number two. Um, make sure you model after what other leaders have done. It don't even have to be within your company. Um, it could be somebody that you're following even in a different company and you're thinking, oh my gosh, they have a huge following. I want to learn, learn how to get a huge following like they do or to give value like they do. So study those people of what they're doing, what post creates curiosity, what post actually gets a lot of likes and comments, um, and things like that. Kind of study them um, and what they do. Model after them. Um, don't Basically, don't invent the wheel. Just kind of watch what they're doing and take notes and uh, that sort of thing. Okay? So, if I see a lot of hop, uh, people hopping on, and so if you have watched my videos before, Comment below a one. If you're new to my videos, comment a two. And if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. So that way I can give you um, a thank you for watching. Um, and also if you, hold on. If you share this video, um, definitely click on the share button below and then the share it. If you think anybody could get value out of this video, and then I will do a full name shout out and just put that comment below that you done a share. So tip number three is read or listen, because some of you are visual, that would be me, um, or audio, personal development. Personal development is crucial. Uh, I'll be honest, I thought in the past that it was um, a bunch of hoopla. <laughs> I'm in the South, so you're going to hear some Southern slang here. So I really honestly thought, who needs personal development? Not me. But let me tell you right now, that is when my business changed. That is when I just started development, um, developing as myself uh, and in my business. It taught me so many things. Um, and you can, there's so many books out there and you can definitely reach out to me and ask me some of my top favorite personal development books, um, to get you going or who I like to watch even on Facebook and YouTube. So definitely personal development is huge, is the ultimate key to leadership. You have to develop those skills, um, in every different kind of situations and that way it comes natural to you. You're not like, oh my gosh, what do I do if? What do I do if? Because personal development will get you to those places. Um, so number four, tip number four is host something live every week. Okay? That could be a Zoom or a conference call or anything like that. Um, it could be um, either for the leads, the people that are interested in your products or your business, or even for your team and or actually. Um, we actually, our team and Upline actually does a Zoom call every week and that keeps you um, informed of different things and plus that keeps you accountable to get that motivation keep on going and also it keeps you aware of what's going on with your team and what the news updates and things that you can ask live if you have a question um, and you're all there and it's just so incredible actually. Um, I don't have this on my notes, but you can also, that can encourage you uh, to do a live a couple of times a week. Obviously, um, if you want a huge blast in your business to really pick up, is try to do um, work towards a Facebook Live every day, okay? And it, it can only be like five minutes, two or three minutes. It don't have to be super long. Okay, so um, basically when you host things like that and do things, to show that you're a leader, people are going to start uh, believing that you are a leader and you're going to show those leadership skills. 
um, because you're helping others to succeed and you're showing those leadership roles there. And plus, it'll help you be a better speaker as well in consistently doing this. Uh, number five, tip number five, and I'll kind of uh, go back through and do a summary right quick at the very end. I'm almost done. Um, I got to hop off here right quick um, here in just a minute. So five is post results of testimonials, skills um, like other people that has helped. You have helped basically. So if somebody says, oh my gosh, Heather, you have totally helped me with this. Um, that tip you did, you know, whatever, then get them to do a testimonial for you. Um, because this can be proof of other, to others that you are uh, helping others to succeed and that can be definitely be a role as a leader. Okay, number six, be confident in yourself. Did you hear me? Let me say that again. Be confident in yourself, okay? And let me just tell you, a couple of years ago, I did not have this. No, no, not me. I had this much confidence I would have never thought in a million years that I would be sitting on a Facebook live talking to you about how to become a leader oh my gosh you know so um, it is incredible when you start doing personal development that you gain confidence you carry yourself a different way you it's basically more knowledge for your mindset mm-hmm so um, it is very powerful when you start having confidence and you start showing that confidence, okay? So basically, because when you have confidence, people are gonna start become attracted to you. That, uh, you know, that means like your audience and other people are gonna see that you are um, stronger in your skills, you carry yourself better. It could be that, you know, even if you're more self-confident, that you're standing more upright or that you can make more decision or decisions more quickly and easily and you guys I'm gonna have to hop off here real quick in just a minute because I have 20% battery so basically um, when people are, are attracted to you by um, those kind of skills that makes your job a lot easier people are coming to you and you're leaving them curious and they want to join you in the business so basically have posture and that remember um, you can attract customers and new business partners your way by developing these leadership skills. So in summary, okay, so steps to becoming, six steps to becoming a leader. Tip number one, give value consistently. Two, model after what um, other leaders have done. Three, personal development. Four, post something live every week. Five, post results of testimonials of people that um, you have helped. Uh, and six, be confident in yourself. So thank you all for hopping on here again. Um, you can reach out to me and I'll give you the couple of people that I love to watch for personal development. So that way that'll help you.